The Inspector General of Lisa Damu has cautioned officers and men of the Nigerian police force currently deployed for the enforcement of the lockdown and social restriction orders to ensure that the rights of Nigerians are not infringed upon under any pretext. Also, persons on essential duties duly exempted from the restriction orders should be accorded due courtesies and unfettered access to and through their places of duty. The IGP notes that the global community is now in extraordinary times with a lockdown taking its toll on every component of national life. The IGP has directed command commissioners of police to immediately commence conduct monitoring of police officers deployed on enforcement duties and their areas of responsibilities. The IGP has equally charged Zonal Assistant Inspector General of Police IG IGs across the nation to ensure adequate supervision of personnel under their watch as well as due compliance with the standard operating procedure guiding their special task. Joining us now via telephone is DSP Bala El Kana, the Police Public Relations Officer, Lagos State, to bring us up to speed on the situation in Lagos. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, could you bring us up to speed on the, the compliance level uh, here in Lagos State? So the vehicular movement to a large extent uh, has been uh, restricted to only those who are authorized to be on the roads, uh, those on essential uh, uh, duties. You know, that, that, that was uh, quite effective from the fourth day. So, so far, if I'm to rate the level of compliance, at least I'll give it up to like uh, 65 to 70 percent across the states. The the only aspect of challenge we had also, while vehicles are not moving, the roads are empty. Young men now took advantage of that playing football. Then you, you had a lot of also crowd coming to watch them playing football. That also negating the uh, social distancing uh, principle. So that became another aspect that we need to look at talking to the young men to stay off. Then in neighborhoods again, we see people coming together, clustering together. Yes, they are at home. They are within their, their neighborhood. They are not moving. But you see them clustering together also in large numbers. Okay, what is being done to educate them on the need to stop such behavior as it negates the purpose? Oh, sure. Wherever we see such a crowd, we stop. We talk to them. We tell them to please move back home or uh, maintain some, some distance, and that has also helped. So the kind of enforcement we are doing mostly is explicit enforcement, talking to the people, educating them, and making them comply on their own because we believe that the most important kind of uh, uh, All right. uh, when they voluntarily comply by themselves, they understand the need for them to obey those uh, guidelines given, then it makes it easier for all of us. Okay, uh, there is a video um, circulating online showing some residents complaining. This is aside from the news reports, of course. Uh, they're saying that they're going to protest over non-palliatives uh, for uh, this particular lockdown from government. Are you aware of this? And what is the police doing to forestall this from occurring? Well, uh, it is not within my purview to speak on palliatives, but the agency of uh, government responsible for that, I believe, yes. Yeah doing what they're supposed to do to, to address that. On our part, we are we, we just appealing to the people to remain calm. Don't allow breakdown of law and order. Don't allow your action result into total breakdown of law and order. We can't afford it at this time. We are in a crisis situation, not just Nigeria, but globally. I'm just imagining if countries like the U.S. with this high technology, best medical facilities are struggling with this virus, then if we get to that crisis point in Nigeria, how are we going to cope? So let us not allow it get to that level. Let us be patient and see what we can do within the ambit of the law. Don't come out and start creating trouble. There are people there who may be angry, who are looking for opportunity to break into schools and loot in the name of protest. So those who are organizing this should be careful. 
Don't give me to criminal elements also who are looking for opportunity. All right, talking about criminal elements, there are fears um, from pundits and others uh, that there might be a spike in crime if the lockdown persists beyond the two weeks. Are the fears valid and um, what are you doing to calm people's nerves that this might not happen? Well, we, have, we did not in any way alter our security architecture in place in Lagos State, even before the lockdown. We have a lot of measures that we put in place that make uh, Lagos one of the safest states in Nigeria. The, that is still in place. We have our patrols going on. We have our rapid response well positioned. We have our waterways well covered by our gun boat. The Marine Police are doing their best protecting the waterway. We still have our helicopters covering the airspace, providing aerial surveillance. All those things are on. The patrols have not been altered. The only thing we are having now is uh, additional measure that we have put in place because of the uh, COVID-19. That is it. Then the aspect of crime that we see going up is cyber crime. Because people are at school, we, we have people now calling and telling them that they belong to this government agency or they belong to this and they are distributing money. So people should, should, should give out their personal uh, information, their bank account and so, so many things. And we have sent that warning to people because at home, it is your responsibility to protect your personal uh, identity. Don't give it out to anyone on phone. That is the best we can do to tell you. We are also working closely with those in the financial sector to help. That is why they are allowed to offer skeletal services so that uh, once there are such complaints coming, they can quickly investigate them. All right. Thank that you very much. Helpful. I'm afraid that's all time with letters. Thank you very much uh, for talking to us and the news. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me.